Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And I got a super cool video to show you guys, which is programming with the help of AI called Copilot. So let's check it out. Now, GitHub has this really cool program called Copilot, which is AI generated suggestions for your programming. All you have to do is just start typing and it'll kind of figure out what you want and auto complete it for you. And if you make a suggestion in a block comment, it'll actually try to program that entire thing for you. Now, as a casual programmer myself, where I don't program every day, but I do know my way around coding, this helps a ton because there are times where I'm trying to code something, but I don't necessarily remember what I need to do for this particular thing that I'm trying to program. So the auto completion process is amazing. Now it does work for a couple of languages like JavaScript, Python, and a few more, which I'll show you in a second, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna expand on the coding library later into the future. Now, you do have to sign up for it. I had to sign up for it. It took me a couple of days to get the authorization to actually use this module. Uh, my friend who signed up for it took him like a week or two. And he, I got another friend who actually did not even get accepted into a testing program. So yeah, you might be able to join the technical preview and see if you're gonna be able to get in. And I'll leave a link down in the description for that. Anyway, let's jump into my desktop. Now this is the website for Copilot. And you could see um, this is where you would sign up for it. Now, what's really cool is they actually show you a little demo here where you could see they just did a block comment and the AI suggested what to code. And this is really amazing. It works pretty well so far for the needs that I use it for, but it does basically autocomplete either the function itself or from the block comment entirely. So I, I find this to be really cool. Now it's very easy to use. I didn't have to dig around to figure out what I need to do. There's just only a few hotkeys. Now, there's also a documentation on how to install everything. So you could use it on VS Code, uh, Visual Studio, JetBrains, and NeoVim. So those are the four clients that you could actually use this module on. I use VS Code, so I just had to follow their quick instructions on how to use it. And they also have hotkeys for you to see what you need to press to change the code out or not. So I'm gonna show you that all in a second, but let's jump into coding. Now, I'm gonna run VS Code. And in here, I have it in my documents folder. I do have a Blackmagic design folder in there just because I got DaVinci Resolve. And I am using Fedora, if you guys have seen my previous video on this. And it works pretty well on this. I didn't have any problem. It's a module within VS Code, so I wouldn't see otherwise. Um, you could actually go into the extensions and you, these are all the extensions that I have installed, which is Python, GitHub Copilot, which is right here, and then my Dracula theme. Otherwise, let's create something. So I'm gonna generate a new file called test.py. And automatically it's already working. So if I want to do something easy, so I'm gonna do the pound sign and say, uh, add two numbers together. See, it all, even all it'll suggest on my comment block. Once I hit enter and hit it a few more times, it's gonna start suggesting what I need to do. So I could hit tab and autocomplete that tab auto complete that and you basically have your code so if i keep going down it's gonna say other versions of test add or if i wanted to change it i could go alt and kind of like use the bracket keys and you could see the numbers are changing from two to four and you could uh, keep getting different suggestions for this now i don't need this part i just want to add so basically i want to get the program to work so what i would do is normally in python you could do if name and you can see it's auto suggesting what i need but the ai also knows that i have a function called add and it's going to also add that into that main loop so basically it did that all for me i just needed to type in one thing and it will auto suggest what i wanted to do so this ai program just it kind of knows so it's it's tripping me out on sometimes when i need to like figure out some stuff and it could just auto complete it now if i save this project and i run it in python Obviously one plus two equals three. So here's my answer, three. And that's how you would normally use this program. You could also get it to the point where I could just do, start typing in the function that I want and it'll automatically suggest the function that I need. So if I do uh, subtract, it will automatically know return A minus B. So it's basically subtracting the two numbers. And then if I want to add the add, it will know to do that too. So if I want um, divide, look, it's already, it knows. So you could type in the function and it automatically finish programming for you. So this makes it so much easier. 
if you are a casual coder like me where you just want to add some codes or get some codes working. Now to make this a little bit more advanced, what you can do is actually tell it to write a new program or write a full program. So if I do pound and say like, uh, let's do something like text from images, something like that. What I could do now is hit control enter and it'll actually start giving me codes of what it should be. Like it's got CS, uh, CV2 here, more loads along the way, and it keeps going. Like this one uses um, a Tesseract, and which is the normal way I would code it in. Uh, this one has a little bit more with um, more Tesseract, and then you can actually approve which one you want to use. So at this point, you want to know a little bit of programming so you don't accidentally choose the wrong one like this one. Look at this. It's so large that I don't really need that section of the code, but I would find more of a suggested version. I don't need all this. So basically what I could do is apply this solution. I don't need the JSON or the system request. Uh, I just need the OS. So I'm gonna remove that. And so what I'm gonna do now is define a function called read text. Image, that's probably what I wanna call it. And then you see, it's gonna load more stuff that I want. So it's gonna be read text from image and it has all that other stuff. So that's kind of what I need. Now I've hit enter three times. This could read the image itself. I don't need all this. So you could just keep getting other suggestions as you want. What I now need to do is get the main loop to go and run this program to see if it worked. So at this point, what I could do is if name main, Right, that's how it goes. I could now suggest to write the program out. I'm waiting for this bar to load and it'll tell me like what suggestions they have. This is another set of code that you could use to read the image itself. But what I'm gonna do is just write it out to run read text. And looking at this, I think I need the single quote for the main. All right, so basically my program is written out and most of it is done through Tessera, I mean, uh, done through Copilot. The only thing that I added in was this little thing because I didn't want more suggestions of the code, but that's about it. So I'm gonna save this. And because um, VS Code, you have to install the modules and stuff like that, I already have it outside of the scope. So I'm just gonna run it through my terminal. So here I'm gonna go CD documents. Right, that's what I want. And then my test.py is right there. Now I also need to run, create a picture called test.png. So let's do that now. Text editor. This is a test. This is a test like that. And then I'm gonna go grab screenshot tool from GNOME, which is awesome. And from here, I'm just gonna grab this. This is a test. Grab that image go to documents, paste it into my documents, and then rename this to test.png because I believe that's what it's called, test.png. All right, now that everything is all set up, I got my image, I got my code. I am ready to test this, which I should be able to do just by typing in Python 3 test.py. All right, so that didn't work out because looking at the code, it was actually missing one thing. Uh, let's put it in here, print text. All right, so let's save it and run it again. There you go. And honestly, that's how simple it is. Uh, when I tested this the first time, it actually gave me a different code than what this was. And it worked out a little bit better than this this time. But I was able to ultimately get to where I wanted to, which is print the text out from that image. And, and that's Copilot for you. I mean, it's still experimental. It's in a technical preview, but I'm able to code with ease, knowing, not knowing or remembering what modules I need or how I should program certain things. And I'll be able to auto suggest what I need and then, you know, work it in from there. And that's what this, it's really great help. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. I will be using this a lot. I actually want to program a full game in Python using Pygame, probably using this AI Copilot and see how far I could get. So maybe I might be making a video about that if you guys are interested. But yeah, that is it, guys. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.